everyone. Thank you so much, Hannah. Welcome to All You Need to Know about Kahoot's new marketplace. We are so excited to be here with you today to talk about all things marketplace related. So in this presentation today, we will go over Kahoot Academy and the marketplace. We will discuss what are high quality marketplace learning resources. And we will go through a step-by-step -step guide on how to become a marketplace seller. It's a lot of exciting information we have here for you today. So as I said, my name is Amanda and I am product marketing manager for Kahoot Academy. And I also am excited to introduce who we have with us here today. We have Agneta Pedersen, VP and head of Kahoot Academy. Hi, Agneta. And we also have Louisa Rosenheck, who is Director of Pedagogy at Kahoot. And they are both filled with lots of information. So I'm gonna pass it off to Agneta to get us started. Over to you, Agneta. Thank you, Amanda. Hello, everyone. My name is Agneta Peterson, and I'm calling in from Oslo, Norway today. And I represent Kahoot Academy. Uh, and at Kahoot Academy, we are supporting Kahoot's amazing creator community and providing high quality content to all of Kahoot's users. And today I'm super excited to present you all to all the details on how you can become a seller on the first of its kind global and truly unique marketplace on Kahoot. So I will start with introducing you to Kahoot Academy um, and uh, what it is and how Kahoot Academy supports our global creator community of teachers like you. And how we bring content to millions of Kahoot users every month. Then Louisa, Kahoot's very own head of pedagogy, will walk you through how you can reimagine learning and learning content on Kahoot. Basically how you can create the very best content for your classroom and for Kahoot's marketplace. And I saw in the chat earlier that there was some questions about Kahoot courses and Louisa will go through that in her uh, part of this session. And lastly, Amanda will take you through a step-by-step -step guide on how you can become a seller on the new marketplace. And since there is a lot of new information and concept being presented today, we have gathered all of the information from this session on our website and we will share the landing page where you find everything we mentioned today at the end of this session. So you don't have to be afraid to miss any details at all. So first of all, I will introduce you a little bit to Kahoot Academy. Kahoot Academy is a global community that allows educators, publishers, and other creators to share their knowledge and their learning resources with millions of Kahoot users around the world directly on Kahoot, either in the form of free content or ready to use premium learning resources available on Kahoot's marketplace. The content from Kahoot Academy can be accessed directly on Kahoot both on the web and in Kahoot's mobile apps, and is available in a range of topics and languages for learners of all ages. Kahoot Academy started in 2020 because we saw an increasing need for high quality, ready to use content on Kahoot during the pandemic. This content made by our community of creators and our amazing content partners like Disney, Marvel, Minecraft, and NASA is currently played by more than 300 million participating players from all over the world every year. And most of this content is available for free and in several languages. In December last year, we launched our first content subscription, Kahoot Plus Access Pass. And that subscription allows users to access a comprehensive library of premium content starting at $3 per month. Kahoot Plus Access Pass is now available both for individuals and for schools and districts to purchase on behalf of their teachers. And in March of this year, we started to gradually roll out Kahoot Marketplace with select educators. And this back to school season, we are open for all educators on Kahoot to offer their content on Kahoot's Marketplace. Kahoot Marketplace is a marketplace available directly on Kahoot, as I said, both on the web and in our mobile apps. And on this marketplace, verified creators, such as teachers, can offer their content and make some extra money from their content sales. And it allows millions of Kahoot users around the world to access exactly the content they need to make learning awesome. 
In a nutshell, Kahoot Marketplace enables content creators to become sellers and make extra money from the content directly on Kahoot. Verified creators, publishers, domain and subject matter experts can all become sellers on the marketplace. And any Kahoot user from all around the world can find, access and enjoy the content that fits perfectly for their classroom. The content offered on the marketplace comes in a range of languages and topics so that anyone can find and access the content they need to make learning awesome. Actually, there is no limitation to languages and the topics offered on the marketplace since the content is made by you, our truly global community of teachers, learners and learning providers from all over the world. So if you are thinking about becoming a marketplace creator, you can offer content in your own language. There is no limitations for that. And what is even better, we are just getting started. During the next months, the marketplace will grow with more content, more creators from all over the world and more formats, including more advanced Kahoot courses. And we welcome you all to join. Amanda will soon take you through a detailed step-by-step -step guide on how you can join the marketplace. But before that, we will spend some time to focus on the best practices to create high quality content for the marketplace. This includes a new format that allows for new ways to learn on Kahoot called Kahoot Courses. And to take you through Kahoot Courses and a general approach to high quality learning content, I'm very happy to hand this over to Kahoot's very own Head of Pedagogy, Louisa Rosenheck. Hello, everyone. I'm so glad to be here. And I am joining from Boston, Massachusetts. Um, so as Agnetta said, I am here to talk a little bit about what we think are um, some of the, the most creative and interesting ways that you can use Kahoot courses. So um, one of the things that Kahoot courses lets you do is package up a more comprehensive learning experience designed around your Kahoots. We all use Kahoots in different creative ways in our teaching, and this allows us to share all the materials that go into a lesson plan to complement the Kahoots. In a course, Kahoots are, of course, the star of the show. You can add PDFs also that function as slides or do nows or discussion prompts, even hands-on activity instructions, um, really anything you want. So interactive math labs from Dragonbox can also be a part of your sequence to let students explore math concepts with these digital manipulatives. And then you can use video from YouTube or Vimeo and um, soon you'll be able to embed other types of digital content as well. All of this means that you can take all the digital elements of your lesson, wrap them up together with a teacher's guide and kind of put a bow on it. So that way the course will be ready for you to use at the right time in your curriculum and to share as a complete package with other educators. So what does it take to create a learning resource centered on Kahoot's that is high quality and a good fit for the marketplace? You wanna, of course, keep in mind uh, making it comprehensive. So the Kahoot's are connected to other learning activities. Um, we wanna incorporate our, our Kahoot values, make it playful, uh, keep in mind active learning, and of course, make it globally relevant because people from all over the world are gonna be browsing your content. Uh, we always suggest that you include a combination of knowledge, skills, and abilities. So you might cover some content knowledge in one activity or in a Kahoot, and then you might have um, a do now or, or an activity, a hands-on project that's a little bit more open-ended, really building some, some 21st century thinking skills. Um, and then some, some more concrete kind of essential elements, things you want to include in your course. Um, remember that, that courses can come in many forms. So it can be a bundle of cahoots that someone can choose, uh, you know, choose, pick and choose from a set of cahoots. Um, it can also be lesson plan style. It can be a sequence that someone's going to follow in a 40 or 50 minute lesson plan. You always want to make sure that you have clear learning objectives, just like any good lesson plan and communicate those, and a clear description that describes what is in the course, what does it do, how does it function. Um, we, we always suggest that you use Kahoots to either bookend or anchor the experience in some way so that you're intentionally designing uh, how the Kahoots are connected to the rest of the learning. 
And you can include core, core learning materials as well as supplementary resources. And finally, very important to include is a facilitation guide or a teacher, gu teacher guide so that your, um, your buyers or anyone else using your course will know what to do. And they'll know that's the place to put all the tips and all the explanation of how you implement this lesson with your students. By keeping these things in mind as you design and build on Kahoot, you'll be able to make the best possible resources for yourself and to sell in the marketplace. Now, to see this in action, here are a couple examples of different ways to use Kahoot courses. On the left, we have one created by an elementary teacher, one of our verified creators. This course has a great collection of Kahoots that let kids practice the same reading skill, but with different words in the different Kahoots. Teachers can use whichever Kahoots fit their need, and they also get some related activities and worksheets as extras to fit in wherever they think it works best. And then this one on the right was created by another verified creator, a high school biology teacher. This one functions as a lesson plan with informational cahoots, discussion prompts, and a teacher's guide with tips and the full lesson plan. What you use a course for really just depends on what you put in it and how you design it. And we want to encourage you all to think about creative uses of cahoots in your teaching and how they connect to the rest of the learning. Learning can happen during a cahoot, during playing a cahoot or can happen around it with the Kahoot playing a specific role. Embedding them into our teaching in meaningful ways lets us carry the engagement and excitement of a Kahoot into the rest of the learning activities, making the whole lesson plan more fun for teachers and students. For example, a Kahoot might function as kind of a spark or a hook. Um, it could be review or reflection, or it could be an assessment. And I'm sure all of you have used Kahoots in these various ways. When we think about how learning happens in a lesson, it can come from so many formats, discussion, collaboration, use of other materials, prompts for creative projects, and lots more. So the key to a good course is thinking through what is the connection between the cahoots to deeper learning activities that build all kinds of skills that we care about. Finally, when it comes to actually putting together your Kahoot learning resources, we have a bunch of materials here to help you out. We have um, all on, at this, on this website, we have best practices and guidelines. So a lot of the information that we're going through in this session, all available there. Uh, we have some templates of a facilitation or research resource guide. It has and fill to, to fit your course and then upload it as one of the preview images so that people browsing your course can see exactly what's in there. Very exciting, downloadable illustrations and GIFs and stickers so you can spruce up all of your materials and make them look nice and Kahooty. And we have some example courses that we at Kahoot have created that um, really show some of the different ways that Kahoots can fit and with, with the other materials and what kinds of other materials you can include. Now, you don't have to use all of these, but we want you to know where to find them so you can make your resources awesome in terms of looking fun and engaging and polished and creating exciting learning experiences for your students and other Kahoot teachers' students as well. So with that, I will give you back to Amanda to take you through the step-by-step -step on how to become a seller on Kahoot's Marketplace. Thank you very much, Louisa. That was very helpful. So I will now walk you through how you can become a marketplace seller and offer your learning content, the content that Louisa just spoke about, to millions of Kahoot users around the world. How exciting. So who can share and who can sell learning resources? It's great news that all verified creators have the opportunity to receive donations directly from their verified profile. And that's available whether you share your content for free or paid. Then verified creators on paid plans are also able to offer their basic learning resources for sale. The verified creators who are on Premium Plus or similar will be able to sell learning resources such as courses and also have access to all of their different price levels for their resources. So the higher paid plans give you more options for what to price your learning resource on the marketplace. 
Now, another option we have is that teachers can also be offered license payments for the content that you submit if it's very, very high quality. And this content could be offered as part of Kahoot's content subscription service. Now, in terms of payout rates, they vary based on your plan. And you can find all the details on the landing page that uh, Louisa actually just shared before, kahoot.com slash marketplace dash creator. So if we move on, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how you become a marketplace creator. Here we go, all the steps on one slide. Step one, log into Kahoot and create your high quality learning resources. You might already have Kahoots that you can input into those Kahoot resources. I'm gonna scoot back one slide because the second step is actually to become a verified creator. Monica, who hosted our Kahoot before is a verified creator and we're so excited about that. Step three is register as a seller directly from your Kahoot profile when you are logged in. And that's exactly where you can submit your learning resources for sale. Step four is promote and sell your learning resources. And lastly, step five is receive your payments and donations. So now we're gonna dive a little bit deeper into those steps. And I know this is gonna be very detailed, but you will receive the recording later. And lots of these steps are outlined on the landing page, kahoot.com slash marketplace dash creator. So step one, it starts with creating your learning resources. And as Louisa mentioned, Kahoot Courses is the flagship product to be offered on the marketplace. And this can be either a collection of Kahoots that you create, a course, or an interactive lesson. But as you can see here from the screenshot, you log in, and on the top right-hand side, you can either start by creating your individual Kahoots, and if you have them already, you can go ahead and begin creating your courses. Now, we recommend that you as a teacher use your very own classroom as a starting point. Create learning resources that you believe would work for your students that support both high engagement and deeper learning. And as Agneta mentioned, this can be any topic, age, or grade level. And we have all these resources to support you. Step two is to become a verified creator. And this is really easy. And it is the key to receiving donations and becoming a marketplace seller. So once again, you log into your account and you click on the button that says go to application. It is totally free for all teachers to apply to become a verified creator. And as I said, you apply by logging in, click the top home navigation, and right from there, you click go to application. Now, you become verified based on the quality and the accuracy of your content. Now, let me just mention that protecting copyright is very important. So please make sure the content you submit is made by you and does not contain any copyrighted images. On the right hand side of the screen here, you can see a non filled out profile page where you would submit all of this information to get verified. Now, what do you get when you become a verified creator? You not only get to say that you are a Kahoot Academy verified creator, but you also get a public verified profile where you can share lots of information and resources that you create. You get access to donation opportunities. You get special badges and unique resources. You get access to our global creator and educator community. You get, of course, inspiration and motivation from other creators and educators and the content that you see from them. And last but not least, you get marketplace seller access where you can offer your learning resources for sale. So once you become a verified creator, you can then move on to step three and register as a seller and upload your learning resources for sale. Now I'm gonna go step-by-step step with these next slides here to show you exactly how you do that. First, you log into your Kahoot account and click on home if you're not automatically redirected to the home screen. Then on the next slide, we click on add content in the verified profile section. This is the one button you need to get to. Once you click that, on, your, um, on this page, you'll now see in your verified profile section that you can click on sign up as a seller. Once you click on that, you can enter your PayPal account email and create a PayPal account. Then you click next. 
You then enter your information here about your address and click next. You create your first course or collection if you haven't already. And once you do that, you submit your first course or multiple, multiple courses for sale by clicking right where that arrow is. From there, you select the course that you want to list on the marketplace and you can click more than one at a time. Click add. Then you can select your sales price for your course or collection. As I mentioned before, um, the lowest tier plan, you can price your course or your resource at $3. And the other plans like Premium Plus, you can um, offer your learning resources at $6 or $10 as well, in addition to three. Once you choose your price, you confirm your rights and agree to the terms and conditions. Then you click on save and complete the submission or add the course to sub add another course to submit more content if you would like. Once you click save, you can see from here that the course is then pending approval. And then once it is approved, you can observe that your resource is approved right there with that little green approved sign. And you will also get notified when this has been approved. Whew. That's how you become a seller and upload your learning resources to be approved for the marketplace. So what happens when they're approved? You can see that you, it is time for you then to promote and sell your resources. So as you can see here, you can add your paid content to your Kahoot Verify profile and promote your content in any way that you want, such as sharing the content on your own social media, on a blog or on a website that you might have on your own. Now, based on quality and relevance of your content, it can also be promoted on Kahoot's platform and app, as well as in the search results when someone searches for a specific topic or a specific piece of content. Now, let me mention, we have lots of special holidays coming up and uh, our learners and our learning providers and our teachers love to find content that is seasonal, such as Halloween coming up. Um, now, when you, so if you become a marketplace creator, we highly recommend, recommend creating content related to those special seasons. So as you can see here, you have the opportunity to reach millions of potential buyers of your content every single month. So what's the final step? Step number five is to receive your payments and donations. Yay! Um, so as I mentioned, donations are made uh, directly from your verified profile and 100% of them go directly to the educator. Um, license payments for selected content are paid out monthly and payouts for my marketplace sales are paid out after every quarter. There are more details on this on kahoot.com slash marketplace dash creator. So last but not least, what did we cover today? We talked about Kahoot's Marketplace and Kahoot Academy, and you can join Kahoot Academy where you can offer your learning resources for sale on Kahoot's Marketplace. And let me remind you, you can also offer them for free. We talked about with Louisa, what are high quality learning resources? So she mentioned you can create courses or collections that combine this deeper learning and increased engagement. How do we become a marketplace seller? Okay, top three steps. Number one, create your learning resources. Number two, become a verified creator directly from your homepage. And number three, register as a seller and upload, upload your learning resources for sale. And okay, what's next? Go to kahoot.com slash marketplace dash creator if you have more questions or need to review some information. This landing page that I have here at the bottom of the screen is frequently updated with all the details you need, including the resources that Louisa mentioned earlier. So please check out that page when you have a moment. And with that, we thank you for your attention. It has absolutely, absolutely been a pleasure to share all the details about Kahoot's new marketplace with you today. We really hope that many of you will start your creation now and become a marketplace seller right away. And we know, Hannah, that this will totally make Kahoot Marketplace a truly amazing place to explore content and support educators around the world. And I'm just gonna put one little plug at the end 
if you're interested in becoming a seller, but also accessing resources right away that you want for your classroom, for back to school, you need some courses, some cahoots, some lessons, the marketplace is actually open and we have sellers that are selling their content that they um, that they have created. So I suggest go to your discover page when you log in and explore some resources that are already for sale on the market.